Hello everyone, I am filming this really late. My time is 10.37, so I'm a little tired and I'm sorry, but um, I have actually a really good reason to be tired. Um, someone stole my card information for my, my debit card, which was my only way of getting money here in France. <laughs> They tried to do like a test charge through Japan of like a dollar eight. And I'm sitting here like, okay. Luckily they caught it and it didn't go through and they closed down the card and was like, nope, nope. Um, but I'm essentially broke. I'm not gonna stay that way because we're fixing it and they'll be fine. Sorry, I'm having a little bit of a cold as well because flu epidemic in France. Fun. Um, but basically, everything will be fine. It will be fine. It's all getting sorted. But I just got off the phone from like three different three way calls because I can't make calls on this phone in France. So I Skyped my mother. My mother then called from her phone to the fraud center, then to the bank, then to the branch to get this all sorted out. <laughs> uh, it was just a lot of me repeating my card number like five times and answering the security questions and giving my mom official permission to discuss this. I was supposed to go out tonight. That didn't happen. <laughs> I was supposed to be gone like two hours ago. Uh, yeah. That, uh, that didn't happen. But luckily they caught it. They caught it. My account is still okay. All of my money is in there. It's fine. I'm just temporarily broke. Mm -hmm. But yeah. That, that's... The big event of today, but what also happened today was ancient history class had the first presentation on the ancient Spartan society, uh, which was really cool because the Spartans are incredibly interesting. Their politics are very complicated and the society itself is very interesting um, because their treatment of women and slaves is incredible. Um, especially for an ancient civilization, slaves were allowed to have families and they had their own homes, which is incredible because in Athens, for example, they were not allowed to, absolutely not, um, because there were incredible risks to the society in general if the slaves had families. Um, for one thing, it takes your female slave out of commission for the first three years or so. Um, for another, the birth mortality rate was incredibly high because childbirth is incredibly painful. And it's incredibly dangerous when you don't have our 21st century medical know-how. So you would lose the slave entirely or you would lose them for two years or maybe forever because they would be taking care of their own child. Um, so they were not permitted to have families. Absolutely not. It was, that didn't happen. But in Sparta, they were, they were absolutely allowed. Women were educated along with men, number one. Number two, they were taught how to fight. They were taught how to fight. And there was a law that said if a Spartan woman was alone and her husband was away at war and another man came in, could potentially force her into being his wife. However, the woman had every right to fight him off. And she would know how to fight him off. Which I, I don't like that they could force women to be their wives. I hate that obviously but number one they were taught to fight back and did 
And number two, they were encouraged to learn how to fight. The Spartan education system in general is just fascinating and you should try to find out more about it just because above all there was obeying authority and um, basically honoring your hierarchy and um, oh how do I phrase this without looking at my notes. My notes are over here, it's fine. Okay. I'm gonna look through my notes because this is incredibly fascinating and you should all be enthralled. <laughs> Let's see. Basically, their morality was incredibly important. For one thing, education was taught through uh, physical suffering, like lack of food, lack of water because it was also rhetoric for other cities to make them think Sparta wasn't as rich as other uh, city-states. Uh, they don't give their children enough to eat. Also, this led to theft, and theft was punished. So it was teaching them what happened. They were also only given one set of clothes. Uh, they were not allowed to wear shoes. Direct violence, and they would also take away warmth uh, from them. Basically, this created an incredible army. As we all know, the Spartan army is legendary. Um, but, I mean, this just is so cool. I just find this wonderful just to learn about because this is also just a huge critique of Athens as well. Um, the French name for this Greek author was Xenophon. Um, I don't know what it is in regular Greek because that's how we call it in English. Um, but he wrote about the Spartan education system and it was also rhetoric against Athens where he grew up. And this is so cool. I love looking at these little things, how Sparta is meant to be portrayed, how it played its role in the Mediterranean in general. Ah, this is my stuff. This is my stuff. I love this. I love this. Ah, oh, so glad I didn't take that history of literature class. Ooh. Also, for my presentation, I now have a partner. And don't know who she is or what her name is or anything, but we're not going to get the information we need to do this until 15 days-ish before our presentation anyway. And then I'll have her email address. So it's fine. I'm not gonna worry about that until I have to because I'm already freaking out about my Greco-Roman presentation on Vienna. So we're just gonna... We're gonna remember the good things. Number one, French food is great. My host family is great love her she's fantastic the classes i'm taking are fascinating and i love them and my group is also amazing uh one of the members maggie is turning uh 20 tomorrow so we're gonna go out and celebrate with her and that's gonna be really cool we're gonna have a little celebration with her and it's just bonding we're all getting pretty close, which is fantastic. Um, today is a good day, no matter what. Donald Trump was made our president. You can take that how you may. I will not reveal my thoughts on the subject, but I have them. That would make this video far too long. But good things happen every day. You just have to find them. And on that cheesy note, Bye guys, I will see you tomorrow.